Hi, class. <laughs> All right. So if you wish to study at university, you have to, for those who do not know, you have like, let's say you have a whole menu and you just need to fulfill the entire menu and you turn everything on the menu. You need to have every of the subject on the menu figured. That means you have to have each semester so many, they call it credits. Like dishes on a menu, for example. So over the time you choose perhaps, which is usually so many years, you have to fulfill all the credits. That means if you didn't finish one of these dishes, then you have to start over again next semester and, and do it again. If you have finished all the <coughs> dishes, if you wish to receive yourself as somebody who has fulfilled his studies, then you have to fulfill every single dish on the menu and you have to have an acceptable score or qualification or number at the end, which is how you are rated. And then if you have enough of those together, a high enough rating, then you can be received and get your degree. So that's university. Well, usually people intend to pressure themselves through it, have the entire day filled with credits. It, it ranges about somewhere between six or seven subjects a day to make it in four or five years, depending on what you study. And each of the classes that can last from, well, that depends. So each of the credits, you have so many lessons in a week. Usually you have like, on Mondays and Wednesdays, or maybe Mondays, yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays, one subject, and then <coughs> on Tuesdays, on Thursdays, you have another one, and then plenty of them, and they kind of repeat. And after you go to school or university, the very day, you have plenty and plenty and plenty of homework to do. Which often, depending on what you study, is you have to write long essays, you have to make extensive research all the time. So long nights is a really part of it, of the study, often. It's a very, very busy time, at least from my perspective from Mexico, and I reckon Germany is the same. Because it doesn't really matter how much intelligence you have is still a lot of material you have to go through. You have to read a lot. You have to research subjects and matter. You have to put things together. Then you have to write the whole thing down and it has to be in a special, specific format. Oh, here's the thing. So <clears throat> each country has a different way of exposing it. And in Germany and Mexico, you're pretty free to do it the way you want to. It has to be structured, that's all. In France, that's not the way. In France, you have to divide it by two by, by two again. So you have to have, a, any essay has to have a format. It's like going to the police, man. A big, and a, with two big subjects, and each of them has to have two sub-subjects. You don't need to understand it. I'm just saying, there's a very specific format, which is different, which doesn't allow you to develop a lot of things. Maybe that's like the pre-computerized examination of it makes no sense anyhow so here we are i say we students from foreign countries in france and we <coughs> will do certain of these subjects in the french university and then there is something offered and which is a side thing there's nothing to do with our studies but it has everything to do with our studies and this was called and that's the night lesson i took and we took And it expanded itself three days a week for two hours, which is like the longest ever given. And it was, yeah, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at almost night time. I think it was from eight to 10. 
in the evening. It's very late, considering that you already started your day very early. And that's something just offered and anybody could take it or leave it. And there were pretty much no French students there because they didn't need it. It wasn't required, so they didn't want it. So basically the aula was filled and there were plenty, plenty of students with foreign from France students, mostly European. It was like an executed, but it's like the hardest thing we ever did. It was so difficult. You have no idea. Because on top of the extensive material given, it is for every one of us, for each of us, it was in a foreign language. Now, I only had studied a year French before I went into like the hardest and deepest French at university. It's almost impossible to do that. Well, you have to speak Spanish. I thought, meanwhile, I'm in France. I might as well, you know, vaya aprovecharla. Vaya aprovechar el tiempecito que tengo por ahí. Oh, I take good, good use of my time in France. And that was studying plenty. And the whole thing lasted the entire year. The study, oh, I didn't mention what it was, of the European community. What the idea was, the foundation, what are the steps, everything about the European community, everything about it. Hence, I talk a lot because I know a lot. <laughs> Must reiterate now, uh, every one of us, we studied our regular university degree studies on top of that European community study. So I also had studies about social sciences and also I used uh, this year to study the international law in French. And yes, it was credited in Mexico. which was yet another subject that they sent me off on Mexico. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. And I studied so very many, many subjects. And when I came back, I call subjects. If, how do you say this in English? The subjects, I mean, one of the plates on the menu among all the plates I needed. I studied so many, so many in France, but they only wish to credit me too. It's almost like I had wasted my time because I had to repeat the whole thing in Mexico. But I don't, I don't really care. I was fortunate to do that. I was fortunate to have all the experience and exposure. Oh, you know, all oh, what it implies, I did the details, the study, the all uh, people were barely teachers, how it's working, all of it. Study is more than just the, this, the material they give you. There's a lot of other things going on. Yeah, well, mainly when you go to any university that you actually show up, that you're disciplined, that you're thorough, that you know how to work, you know how to prepare, you know how to present, you know how to write, you know how to spell, you know how to... Uh, give out an examination what you learned, you know how to be didact, you know how to make an expose, do you know a lot of things and on top I got to know another country, another culture, how do things work over there. So I was grateful. Well, we are all very high studious, that's all we always do, we, we like to learn and that we have this um, la exigencia para nosotros. We have demand that from ourselves to do the best we can in whatever material we, 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 we chose to. We work a lot. So now I can talk a lot <laughs> because I know a lot because I worked a lot. Because I studied a lot. In, okay, so I really studied things. I don't just repeat phrases and material and throw it out there. I really absorb things, so when I study something, I know everything what's there to know about it. 
and every other person has the same opportunity, but they just don't look at it, they don't pay attention to it. We do pay attention when we want to. When we study something, we want to. And before we had to choose our studies, younger, well, we, had, we did not have the opportunity to actually choose. We had to just take it all in when you go to school. So I had a lot of selective attention there, I have to say. Yeah, that was a joke in my other um, little poem <clears throat> story. Selective attention, abundance, I say, because I'm very intense by the things I actually do select. Because the name is um, attention deficit. No, it's called actually selective attention. I was told I had selective attention. That means I was like super excelling in everything I wanted and barely doing it where I wouldn't. I, but I told you that already. I was like, I, I was against history. So I did the barely minimum because I wasn't feeling very encouraged to repeat all them jokes we were told. On the other hand, I did my finish my high school with Spanish, music and philosophy and something else. And in music, I already had it all done. But on top, I created a band. I sang, I played the sax, tenor saxophone, a solo, which wasn't written, which I just did. No, I don't think it was recorded. I didn't record it. It is recorded? I don't know. You did? Seriously? <laughs> it's funny. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, <laughs> look, I just barely played the saxophone. And I just said, I'm just going to go ahead and improvise. And I probably didn't even know what I was going to play in my <laughs> That's a, I was very serious about improvisation. Maybe nobody ever did that before. You always think improvisation just means play what comes in mind. Like I speak right now, <laughs> improvising. But you have to have a structure in music. You have to know a lot of things. And I did not know anything at the time. I mean, I did know music, but my saxo was new. It was newer than the flute today. I had less experience than what I have today with the flute. And I did it anyways. And then I did it in a band. Same difference. I just did that, period. Now, when I speak, I have a lot of... It's like when I speak, I don't just java out words. I have ideas, concepts. I can explain you everything about it. That's me. It's, oh, it's very much um, in comparison to a key signature in any musical composition. You need to know the key signature in order to be able to improvise over it. And if I wish to talk to you about any subject, that's like the key signature. So I need to know it. And since I do know it, I studied a lot. I learned a lot. I can talk a lot <laughs> about it. I'm knowledgeable. So I didn't have to do that music thing in, in, in my final exam. That was like 50% of it, though. I already had it all done. But I wanted to. It kind of made sense. If you end up with music, you have to do that. But I did not wrote a special dissertation in philosophy, I have to say. So I just did what, what was required. Because when I like something, I can also get really passionate about it. And it's like, me choca no hacer las cosas bien. It's like I have an aversion to not doing things correct and right when I like something. It has to be done perfectly well. And then I can talk about it. <laughs>